For this week's Team Lead Tech Tip, we're going to look at a solution for the common challenge of not being able to add Planner to a shared or private channel. When you're in a shared or private channel and you click on the plus sign for add a tab and select apps, you'll notice that Planner is nowhere on the list. Now, most people send me a question thinking that they just can't find it, but the Microsoft documentation currently says that it is not supported. So the question is, how do we do task management in shared and private channels without making a public task list? When you click add a tab, there's now an option to add new or existing loop pages. For this demonstration, we are going to start from scratch and add a new page. When it's created, it will be saved to the SharePoint site associated with this shared channel. To get started, I will give the page a name and you'll notice that it will be reflected in the name of the tab at the top of the screen. We're gonna look at two options, inserting a task list and a Kanban board. We will start with the task list. So I'll type the slash command and then start typing task. This will narrow it down to the task list option. A table is inserted on the loop canvas and you'll see that it has four columns. You cannot add additional columns. In the bucket column, the first option is to do. When I select the field, I can add additional options to create more buckets. In this case, we're going to add in progress, review, and edit. You can also review the options and change the titles for the buckets. So in this example, we use backlog. I'm going to quickly create the first task by putting a title in the task field, assigning the task by searching the global address list and picking a name, and then adding a due date. Now I want to draw your attention to the left-hand side just above the table where we have the view switcher. This is going to let us put the table into a board view now that we have a few buckets to organize with. Notice that the task card is in the backlog column and I can switch the buckets by dragging and dropping the task card through the process. To add new items, click add task at the top of any bucket. This will generate a new card and then you can use the double-sided arrow to expand the card and make it larger on the screen. From here, you can enter the task name, assign it to somebody, put in the due date, and then assign the bucket. But notice that you cannot add any additional fields. To add the additional information, we need to go to Planner. So click on Task Apps on the right-hand side of the table, and then click Open in Planner. From here, you will be able to go to My Tasks and see the full Planner card. I'm going to quickly add some information for demonstration purposes, and then notice at the bottom of the task card, you'll see two things. One, it says the plan is not associated with a group, so some of the fields are not going to be available. Specifically, that message is where the comment field usually goes. And then under add attachment, you only have the option to add a link to a URL. You do not have the option to create a link from a team document or to upload one from your computer. Using task list is useful if you want to have the traditional planner look, but the drawback is you do have to jump through different apps and all of the information is not in one place on your shared channel. Now let's look at the Kanban board option. I will put my cursor in an empty spot on the canvas and type slash. Then type the keyword and select the Kanban template. A board view is inserted on the canvas with four buckets. You can click the headers for any of the buckets and change the name if you want to. There are two blank cards to help you get started. Let's click on the double arrow on one of the cards and open the detail view. Already we can see a difference on the task card. 
There are more fields available and we can add custom fields. I will quickly fill in the title, assign the task to Alex, set a due date, and add some checklist items. Notice that the task card has two fields for notes. This sometimes causes some confusion about what you should put in each field. The one below the checklist is meant for status updates and tracking progress. So I'm going to add a couple of updates in the notes field and as you add more information, the box will expand. Now I want to draw your attention to the new comment button on the right. This is where you can have threaded conversations about the task without cluttering up the main part of the task card. For example, I could create a comment saying that I need help with editing. Adele will see the comment when she opens loop and ask, how can I help? Then I can reply that my computer is crashing and I cannot finish working on the file. This exchange is easier to read in a threaded comment with names attached versus notes, especially if multiple people begin to chime in. The next thing I want to point out is that you can change the title of the field. To clarify the intent of notes, I'm going to rename it to status. Next, we're going to jump down to the notes at the bottom of the card. This is where you would put the instructions and details for the task. I'm going to keep my comments simple, but you can add as many details as necessary for your business process. As I mentioned earlier, you can also add customized fields to the task card. Click Add Field and then choose one of the options. For example, I can add a second person field and call it Reviewer. This addresses a common issue in Planner where people wish that they could clearly identify the role of the people assigned to the task instead of having them all on one assigned line. Now that I've done that and I've assigned Adele as the reviewer, I would like to have the two people fields next to each other. If you try to move the field on the task card, it looks like it cannot be done, but it is possible. Let's go back to the loop page and click the switch view button to choose table. I'm going to grab the review column and move it next to owner. Now when we go back to the board view and open the task card, the two fields are next to each other. The Kanban board option on a loop page is a flexible and highly customizable way to track your tasks. The one drawback is that it will not synchronize with your planner application. When a person is assigned to the task on the Kanban board, they will receive an email automatically with a loop component that has all of the card details and they can link back to the original page from there. And now that we can add loop pages to a shared or private channel, we have more flexibility in our task management processes. I encourage you to check these out and then drop me a comment and let me know which one would work best for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.